Welcome to the Burden and Blessing Podcast, a study and discussion forum on the truth of God's Word. Our Word of the Week takes an in-depth look at important Bible words so we might increase and deepen our understanding of God's Word of Truth. We pray that these brief studies will enable you to get more out of your daily reading and hearing of God's Holy Word. Welcome back to the Word of the Week on the Bird and Blessing podcast. The word we look at this week is the word disciple. A disciple breaks down into essentially two different things that I want to direct your attention to today. The first thing that a disciple does is that a disciple follows. We are familiar with the 12 disciples of Jesus, perhaps most of all in the Bible, and they were individuals who followed the Lord. They literally followed him as he walked the earth and as he went around and preached and did different activities, but they also followed him in their beliefs and in their confession. So a disciple follows. What's also important to remember about a disciple, though, is that a disciple endures. And what I mean by that is that to be a follower, especially of Jesus, means that you will have to go through difficult things. Uh, The word for disciple in the Bible, the Greek word, simply means a pupil or a student or a follower. But there are other synonymous words closely connected that indicate suffering and enduring of that suffering. One section of the Bible that is Uh, very pertinent when it comes to discipleship is Hebrews chapter 12, where the writer reminds the reader, who would be a follower of Jesus, the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you have had to endure. God is treating you as sons. One of the aspects of being a disciple of Jesus is recognizing sort of the root that's in that word, and that is the root of discipline, chastisement. That comes along with being a follower of Jesus. That comes along with being a believer. And growing in discipleship also involves growing in the maturity of our faith to be able to endure discipline when it comes our way. The Bible is very profound in this sense that reminding us that some of that discipline comes from the Lord himself because he treats us as his own children. He treats us as sons and daughters. And just as every good parent needs to discipline their children at times and love, so the Lord does that for us as well. Sometimes we get this false idea out in our culture that to be a follower of Jesus simply means prosperity, that life is just going to be magically better and that the light bulb is going to be turned on and we're not going to suffer from the things that we used to. You know, some people think that, well, if that's not the case, what's the point of following Jesus? But remember what being a disciple of Jesus is all about. Remember what it's preparing you for. Remember why we follow Jesus. He's not our earthly king. He's not our bread king. He's not here to just give me what I want for my life today. He's my savior from sin. And one of the reasons that the Lord disciplines us at times is to remind us of that fact and to help us appreciate it when we take it for granted. So putting those two thoughts together, a disciple follows and a disciple endures. That really is the basis of Christian discipleship and what it means to follow Jesus by faith. And just like it was for the 12 disciples whom Jesus first called, it's not always going to be easy in our lives either. Being a disciple of Jesus sometimes means, as Christ himself said, that we need to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. But what we're looking forward to is not an earthly kingdom, not an earthly realm, but Like the writer of Hebrews also said in chapter 12, we're looking for the better kingdom, the better heavenly realm of eternal life in Jesus' name. Better to endure some discipline here on earth to keep our sights focused on heaven, to keep our trust centered on Jesus, than to gain the world and lose our faith. So move forward in your week as a follower of Jesus, remembering to heed his word, and remembering to rely on him for the endurance that comes by faith. 
We encourage you to listen for a new word each week on Burden and Blessing Podcast, where we believe and confess that every word of God is true. Until next week, be assured that God's word is truth and is more precious than gold.